Hello guys. Today, or this evening, the sun is setting. I don't have a lot of time here because it's going to be dark soon. But I'm exploring the Sandy Mount United Methodist Church Cemetery here in Maryland. Now this cemetery is very historic and old. In fact, I did a video here last Halloween, but I wasn't happy with the quality um, of the video. So I decided to film here again. Now this cemetery is very historic on its own right. As you can see, it has some very old graves up here. Uh, some of these graves are so old you can barely read the writing on them anymore. But there's one person buried here in the cemetery that makes the cemetery a famous one. And this cemetery is home of the final resting place of Fred Gwynn. The actor Fred Gwynn, who played many different people in movies and on TV. And he's most famously known as playing Herman Munster in The Munsters, but he, he's played in a lot of other TV shows and movies, and he did voiceover work in commercials in his later years. So I'm going to take you to where he's buried and explore the rest of the cemetery before it gets dark here. So right here where I'm standing is said to be the final resting place of Fred Gwynn. Now he does not have a gravestone. He is buried in an unmarked grave here. So for that reason, there is no grave to look down upon or read. But the actor Fred Gwynn buried right here. He lived nearby here in his later years in a town called Tawny Town, Maryland. And um, in his final years, he lived here. Obviously, he was originally from New York. Um, and it's believed he's buried in an unmarked grave because he wanted to be remembered as the man Fred Gwynn and not the actor Fred Gwynn. So this is the spot where he was laid to rest. So for anyone who wants to visit the cemetery who may not know already, all you gotta do is look for the gravestone that says Shannon right there behind the church. And he's buried right in here. Now I have the camera focused, I believe if I put the camera straight down right here is where he's actually buried, like right in this spot. But this is the area and this is a look around the cemetery. So now I'm going to explore a little more of the cemetery and just look at some of the graves and just take in the views as the sun is setting here. But there you have it, the final resting place of Fred Gwynn. So now I'm getting back over to the old part of the cemetery where I'll be able to, to observe some of these older graves and take a look at them. This isn't a massively huge cemetery by any means. Obviously, if I turn it around, you can pretty much see the whole cemetery. It's not filled grave to grave with graves. There is a lot of open space in between. Uh, out that way is where Fred Gwynn's grave is. Here's the church. And here are some of the older graves. So I'm going to look around and see what I can find. Anything interesting, anything that stands out before I head out. As you can see, this grave is from the late 1800s. And usually in family plots in older graveyards, you would have these little boundaries set up if it was meant to be a family plot. Let's take a look at this grave right here and see what we can see on it. If I turn the light on, let's see. You can 
can't really make out anything. You can make out the last name. But that's about it. I can't even make it out fully. You see letters, and it starts with an A and an R, but other than that, it's not much on it. Let's see if this one down here has anything. This one has nothing left. But if they are from the late 1800s to the early 1900s, I mean, on this side, it says William Lockcard, born 1868, died 1924. So, and on the other side, it said wife of William. She died in 1897. She was born in 1873. There's that grave, and then as we head over this way, we have some more older graves. Let's see if we can make out any, this one you can make out somewhat. We turn the light on again. I can make out the, I think it's the, 1871. I don't know if that's born on, born on, or died. I can't really tell. But I do make out 1871 right here. The one, the 871. Or at least it appears to be 1871. Here's a grave next to it. This one's in a little better condition. Uh, somewhat. Let me see if I turn the light out if it will come in any better. It looks like like 18 something to 1885. So we're looking at some graves from the late 1800s into the early 1900s. I mean, here's an old grave. Let's see what this one says. It looks like 1854. So this is the older part of the cemetery with some newer graves mixed in in certain areas. It's always interesting to look at some of these older graves and just see what you can find on them. Um, I'm not too sure if there are any Civil War veterans buried out here in the cemetery. If so, there's no uh, markers or indications of that. There's no flags on any graves particularly, or no markers on any graves to signify that. But, yeah guys, this is not a really long video, but it's just a remake of a video I made last year where I visited the cemetery. And I was not very happy with the quality of the video. Obviously, um, I believe this cemetery closes at dusk. It is now dusk, so I can't be here too long looking around. But I figured I just wanted to get out and film a little bit. Document the cemetery, look at some of the graves again. And obviously uh, showcase what the cemetery is famous for, being their final resting place of Fred Gwynn. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, fix image. Same piece.